itty bitty. Hey, be nice. And as much as Kevin would like to think otherwise, size sometimes does matter. What's up, Life Right Nation? Hey, what's going on, guys? So we are at American Adventure Lab today. AmericanAdventureLab.com. AmericanAdventureLab.com because we have the Bronco Raptor with us. And we are actually leaving, we're abandoning Plan B here at American Adventure Lab for the next couple of weeks because they have some cool stuff in store for it that obviously we'll show you when it's done. But before we abandon it, you'll notice there's a Bronco Wild Track behind me. It's with Sasquatch package. With a Sasquatch package. And there's a reason for that. We want to go over some stuff. So one of the previous videos, y'all saw us with a tape measure going over all the interior space between the Bronco Raptor and our Jeep 392. Slash demon. Slash demon. <laughs> Today, I've got Britt's caliper in my hands. Not me, Britt, is in Brittany, but Britt is in American Adventure Lab Britt. That's his name. Yeah, that Britt. <laughs> anyway, so we're borrowing wife's. his wife's, his wife's, his wife's what is it? It's a wild track with Sasquatch. We're going to go over some key components because now that we're wheeling the Raptor, people are like, oh, you're going to break it. Those tie rods are going to snap. You're going to break the control so arms. Tiny. You're going to you're going to break the end of the rack, all this kind of stuff. I keep telling people they are not the same. And people keep arguing that the so Badland engine, Sasquatch the steering, is the, everything is the same between this and between that. It's not the same. It is not. It's not the same. And we're going to take these little doohickey caliper deals and we're going to measure things. So if you look online, the first thing you see is people breaking tie rods on these things all the time. I'm sure people need some off-road uh, experience because, and, and, and that's probably why they're breaking them a lot. With more experience, you'd have less breakage. But nonetheless, let's get under here and first and foremost, measure the tie rod. Oh my God, that's cold. Hold right on. on. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go get a mat. And while he does that, I just want to reiterate. We're doing this to show you guys why we are so confident in wheeling our Bronco Raptor like we weren't wheeling our Badlands Sasquatch. You're about to find out. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit better. <laughs> so first off is the tie rods because that is what bends and breaks the most. And it bends like right here between the threads and where you actually stick your wrench. So if we just come on here, measure that guy. It's a 14 millimeter, so. That would be a 14 millimeter wrench on there. And then let's go to the outer tie rod. 22.54, so 22 to 23. That's kind of hard where I'm at right now doing this. So you see that? Yeah. So let's go to the other, let's go to the Raptor and see what's going on. All right, so the Raptor, the Raptor's coming in just over 15 millimeters. So honestly, it looks a lot bigger. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yeah, 15.3. So I mean, it can't be a 15 and a half. So like visually, it looks way bigger than a millimeter, but it, it's a millimeter. All right, now let's see the outer tie rod. 25. No, is it that much bigger? 24.89. The outer tie rod's definitely bigger. And you probably already noticed just from us going back and forth right there real quick, but there's something else that's a massive difference. So if you look at the control arms on the wild track, they're absolutely tiny. If you look at the upper over here too, it's so little. Hey, be nice. It's itty bitty. Hey, be nice. And as much as Kevin would like to think otherwise, size sometimes does matter. <laughs> At least, at least when you're talking about off-roading, because if you look at the Raptor, the control arms are absolutely insane. Yeah, I mean, you could. there's a brace there. Look, yeah, you've got all the braces in the world, but also just look how freaking thick this is. And I understand the amount of that's what she says. They're coming out of my mouth right now, trust me. But like... What's coming out of your mouth? The girth on this control arm. <laughs> is freaking wild wait are you are you way happier about the girth or the, the the extra length the length or the girth both can it be both what do you mean by that and if you look at the upper even the upper is bigger guys when i tell you that they absolutely they re-engineered it re-engineered the suspension and the steering components on the bronco raptor that's exactly what they did like when we bought our Badland Sasquatch, this is kind of what we were expecting. Yes. The way that Ford marketed the Bronco, the way that they amped it up to be this like monster off-road vehicle saying that it'd be better than the Wrangler, this is what we were expecting. Yes. And I'm not gonna lie, with this, we're absolutely not disappointed. No woman would be. Now, while I can't show you the actual rack on this or this, I can show <laughs> no, you the rack on this. <laughs> You didn't, so good. you didn't know that was coming. 
<laughs> so the steering rack, the steering rack is updated on this, and Ford has teased. I don't. Maybe it's out. But last SEMA they teased that you were able to get an HD rack for one of these. But 74 Weld, who does the portals for this stuff, is right now doing a fully custom billet rack that's going to work on on all of them, and it'll be a billet rack that you won't break or rip the ends out of like you do on the stock ones. I don't. What he said. That. Okay, let's move on to the axle shafts. There's no way to really film in there. 30.53. All right, on the Wild Tracks Axe And that is not fitting onto this one, so a little bit girthier, as Brittany would say. 31.06, if I'm doing that right. It's really difficult to get in here with all this stuff in the way. Yeah, looks like that's yeah, about it. Right about. So, another millimeter? Another what is that? Millimeter another difference, millimeter yeah. difference? I mean, I don't know what that means, but it's definitely bigger. I mean, it looks bigger, and I didn't think a millimeter would be that You'd be visually notice. different, but like a millimeter seems to be a lot. Seems to be. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys are the skid plates, but keep in mind, this is a wild track. The wild tracks do not come standard with all of the available skid plates for the regular Bronco, like the Badlands and I believe the Black Diamond do. On a wild track, you have to pay more to have it equipped with all the skid plates. Otherwise, all that you end up getting is that right there, the front skid plate. Now, if you do have a Badlands or if you have a Black Diamond, because as you can see here, there's nothing else protecting this thing. But if you equip all of them, you would have a skid plate covering this gas tank right here, which by the way is, it's plastic. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is a plastic gas tank so if you don't have a skid plate there <laughs> that'll suck but if you do have the equipped ones what you basically get is you get a little bitty guy right there to protect your transfer case and then you get the gas tank skid and that's it that's all that comes with a bronco and i'll insert a photo right here which basically shows you a little bit of the the gas tank and that transfer case skid but keep in mind too this is one of the big complaints we had also when it came to our badlands or at least the regular bronco that transfer case skid has no support on one of those corners. So if you hit a rock, it doesn't matter. That thing's going right up into the transfer case. It's kind of an interesting, I, I guess it was semi-protected, but it was kind of not great. But the Bronco Raptor, you get bonus skid plates. Look at this, see that guy? And that guy right in front of it? You get bonus skid plates. However, one thing I will, I will mention, this transfer case skid plate does the same exact thing that the other Bronco skid plate does. There's no support on this corner at all. So like if you come down on a rock or you hit a rock right there, that's smashing your transfer case. Like that's just, there's no support in this corner to keep it exactly where it is. So that kind of sucks. But outside of that in general, the Bronco Raptor has a whole lot more belly protection than the regular Bronco does which is beneficial for off-roading for obvious reasons, because as you can see, we use ours basically all the time. Also something to note, if you went ahead and got yourself a regular Bronco and you bought some cool wheels for it and some bigger tires or whatever, and then you decide, I want a Raptor. Sorry to tell you, but this wheel bolt pattern is not the same as that wheel bolt pattern. This is six by 139.7, and that is six by 135. So... You cannot... You cannot swap wheels. Yeah, you can't swap wheels. Or if you like the if you like the factory wheels from you know somebody selling the Raptor factory wheels, and they you're like, oh, well, I'm gonna put them. They won't fit. So that was just like something to note that I've seen online, and it's something that could be uh, helpful. <laughs> it is also worth mentioning that the regular Bronco comes with a Dana 44 rear axle, whereas the Bronco Raptor right there comes with a Dana 50 rear axle. Now there's a million other things that are different. I mean from the these fenders from the fender flares, the bumpers, the I mean, hood, there's, there's, the interior, everything. There, there's, a, there's a million other things, but these are like the important things that keep us from breaking out on the trail. These are all the things that give us faith that we won't be left stranded. Or give us more faith that we won't be left stranded. Will it happen? Possibly. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> But we have a lot more faith that it's slightly less likely to happen in the Bronco Raptor than it is in a regular Bronco. I mean, and it won't matter anymore. We're going to go portals from 74 Shh, well. Bleep that plus, out. Plus the billet rack and probably 40s. I was trying to do so. a wink, wink, nudge, nudge earlier to like, 
hint instead of just dropping the bomb. I guess whatever. It's fine. You can know. Yeah. We're portals, 40s, like. Billet steering rack. You guys. 74 welds making it. And I'm just like, why, why would, wouldn't like, we? <laughs> instead of, okay. So the portals are instead of going with larger, like larger axles and stuff, you just go to portals. So like you can do axles. Or you can do portals. Oh, you saw, uh, what's his face up in Salt Lake City with his Jeep? Oh. I can't think of his name. Tanner. Right. Tanner. Sorry, Tanner. You saw Tanner. You're he such had portals a Jeep. I, just... <laughs> so here's the thing. A lot of people have also asked, like, well, why don't you just solid axle swap your Bronco? What? We have, why would we do that? We have. Why don't you solid axle swap your Razor? Yeah, like, that doesn't, like, what? you're defeating the biggest purpose of the biggest pro. Can you imagine that people going out the solid Bronco. axle swapping their yeah. Razors? And they're, and they're IFS <laughs> has so many extremely big pros over solid axle and vice versa but. and vice versa solid axle we have two jeeps we don't need any other solid axle front and rear vehicles three jeeps you have a buggy jeep i do i have a buggy we have too many solid axle vehicles we like the ifs because it's different and it excels at different things anyways point is Whatever we're going, the, you you've seen what we did with the stepchild. You've seen what we did with the demon jeep. Can we go have? Can we have dinner? We're gonna go eat dinner. Let's go have dinner. But yeah, we plan to go just this as big or go home. This thing is so. I just big. want you to know, though. I just want you to know. Portals add like seven inches of width. I know the innuendos are just nonstop in this video. Seven inches of width. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? In the case of the Bronco Raptor, I don't know because it's already. A freaking behemoth, <laughs> and it's gonna add three and a half inches per side. Three to three and a half. In yeah. width. However, that means it's gonna be a monster as far as Baja goes. So, anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you find all of your Light Bright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. As always, we love you, and we'll, and we'll see, see you next time. time. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh. Not me, Brit, as in Brittany, but Brit is in America's most <laughs> yeah. wanted. Or wait, Amer damn it. American Adventure Lab. American Labs. Adventure Lab. <laughs> There's a lot of American stuff. P.S. P.P.S. Say goodbye to the Bronco Raptor. It's not gonna be for long. It'll be like a week or two, but we're leaving her here for the next like couple of weeks. Kevin and I are going somewhere special, which we might. Oh, we may film. I guess we could film a We'll bit. probably film something, so it'll just be a surprise. Kevin and I are going somewhere special. Uh, but in the meantime, while we're doing that, this is staying here, and it's getting something cool installed on it. But you'll have to wait and see. Bye.